So I was, um, I was moaning. Uh, I don't know if I actually uploaded the the part where I was griping about uh, sort of the the mindset of the higher performance bikers. Um, specifically the guys in the uh, BMW range and so on that have a tendency not to say hello I could have actually gone there eh? but uh, anyway I uh, did about 20 minutes moaning and groaning about uh, the antisocial nature of certain biker groups um, you know cruisers and Harleys won't greet sport bikes uh, guys on BMWs um, okay not you NT8 I know you you're not that way inclined um, but guys on BMWs don't greet people who aren't on BMWs and um, you know there's like these little clicks in the in the biking world and I have to correct myself on this uh, turns out I was completely wrong these clicks only seem to manifest on the Sunday drive uh, the, the fun run guys the bikers that don't ride every day sort of thing because and I'll tell you why even as me on a on a baby bike uh, I'm on a 400 um, now that I ride early in the morning and during uh, rush hour traffic in the evenings I have noticed a distinct um, upturn shall I say in the amount of acknowledgements that I get back from my waves and my nods and so on so uh, yeah it turns out that it's only the shall we say casual riders that are so antisocial which is strange I thought that riding casually would have made you a lot more shall we say friendly but I think there again it comes to that's a social status kind of thing you know you don't get guys from ballet socializing with the people in Compton a bit of snobbery over the weekends but during the week if you're out in the cold if you're uh, bracing it like like everybody else they're a lot more inclined to uh, to greet you you know then it comes down to the thing well at least you're riding you know even if you are riding a, a baby car or a baby bike at least you're on the road and um, this holds true for motorcyclists versus uh, scooter riders as well I'm uh, generally a friendly sort so I have no compunction about greeting somebody on a, on a scooter at least they're on two wheels and at least they're out racing this cold with me so I don't really have a problem fucking giving them a nod or giving them a finger or not a finger but a finger you know just like that kind of thing so just an acknowledgement of saying hey good on you mate throw those cages away where are you going to turn to chuckles? There's no turn here. 
I'm so far behind you and you're telling me to do something. I don't want to pass you just yet. I'll pass you at the robot. Traffic light. Just calm the fuck down. Everybody chill the fuck out. I got this. Let's see if I can get another pigeon strike again this morning. This time I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna rip its freaking head off, and I'm gonna mail it to my buddy in uh, Orlando. Got a buddy of mine who lives in Orlando, he puts up on Facebook this week. Uh, I think his was three pigeons that had attempted in the last week to fucking fly into his car. So his pigeons aren't suicidal, they're homicidal, they're trying to kill him. Birds, man, birds.